Hi, Jen and Casey here, and today we're looking at contemporary versus classical Pilates, and we're going to be doing footwork on our foot plate. So it's not only for jumping, there's a lot of functional footwork that you can do on the foot plate, which is really, really good for all types of clients that are going to come through your door. Um, so typically in classical Pilates, we have um, the foot on the foot bar, and today we're going to look at it on the foot plate. So Casey has two red and a blue spring on, and she's going to bring her feet and legs into a parallel position. Yep, and go ahead and sneak your toes up a little bit more. Great. And then bend your knees in, coming into your starting position. Great. All right, so I'm just going to watch her move. So on the inhale, press out to a straight leg. And then on the exhale, slowly coming back in. Good. And again, feel like you're slurping the inner arches through the lower leg, through the inner thighs, all the way into your bra line. And then exhale, keep reinforcing that slurping even as you come in. Good. And again, deep inhale. And long, deep exhale. Try to find a little bit more external rotation on this leg so you find more of that outer foot. Good, and last one. And resist to come in. Good, and that sacrum just a tiny bit heavier on this side. Great. So what the foot plate helps you to do in footwork, right, your client still has that really nice tactile feedback on the back of their body, back of their pelvis, but now you can really see how they organize through their whole foot leg as they go out and in. So really beneficial on really giving them um, cues about weight shift front, back, side to side, and how their femur bone or their lower leg is helping them organize that foot position. Mm -hmm. So here on the foot plate, you can do all your um, foot positions that you did on the bar. You can do your Pilates V, your wide Pilates. You can do one-legged footwork. Yep. Right? And there's also a combination, a little ballet combination that we can do here on the, the foot plate. So let's have parallel feet and legs. Good. And on the inhale, she's going to press out to a straight leg. And then on the exhale, from her upper inner thigh, she's going to releve up onto the balls of the feet. Inhale, keep the heels lifted as she comes back in creasing in the front of the hips, widening the sitting bones, and then trying to keep the carriage still as she slowly rolls down through the feet and all the way down into the heels. Keeping the heels down and reaching up through the legs like she's pulling a pair of Hanes pantyhose all the way up to the top of the hips, and then she's going to releve, keep the heels up, bend the knees, allow the sitting bones to bloom, keeping the inner thighs dropping, Good, and then keep the carriage still, slowly bringing the heels down. Good, and that really challenges the length of the Achilles tendon. So you can reverse that also. Keep the carriage still and let the heels rise, deep in the abdominals. Exhale, spreading the balls of the feet, especially anchoring into that first ray, keeping the kneecaps upright. Good, keeping the legs long, peeling down through the feet into the heels, and then slowly coming back in. Good, and then keeping the carriage still and rising up and slowly going out. Good, keeping the kneecap upright, but just imagine that this widens a little bit. There you go, good. And then slowly bringing the heels down and then bending in. Good, great. All right, thank you for joining us and we'll see you next time.